Hi everyone, Dave here from the Photography Toolkit and today's challenge is the macro challenge. So I'm going to be using a macro lens, a Nikon 105 uh, macro, which is a great lens for this sort of thing. It allows me to zoom, not zoom because it's a standard fixed lens, but it allows me to get in close and focus close. So most lenses have a um, minimum focusing distance and so you can't necessarily get very close but a macro lens or a micro lens as Nikon calls them allows you to get in close and focus close. Um, so I'm going to be today looking for maybe that how close I can get some maybe some textures or some details and try to find pictures that uh, you wouldn't maybe otherwise see. Um, my first my second ever lens was actually a macro lens because I got frustrated. I tried to get in close, tried to get in close, and I couldn't um, get very close. I couldn't focus in close with my, the first lens that I had. And so my second lens that I had was a macro lens, so I love it. Um, today I've got a bit of an overcast day. I've actually got a couple drops of rain coming down, um, but that's okay. This, uh, this type of lens is actually great for this, this day. I'm gonna just see what I can find, see the details that I can look for and um, let's give it a shot. I see this little details of this link here and of this fire hydrant. I can get pretty close, which is kind of cool. But this is the, this is an exact reason of why I would, I love this lens. I think it's kind of cool. I've got these different, um, I just want to show you this shallow depth of field that I can get. Now I don't always have to get really, really close here. I'm just trying to make, look at my composition and maybe try something a little bit different. Um, I really like the strap, this sort of newish leather strap and the um, sort of older wicker part here. Look at the rust on this over here. This is pretty cool. So maybe I'll try for a symmetrical image first. I'll just, and then I'm just gonna get in closer. I'm gonna see how close I can get. Maybe off to the side. This rust though is just so super cool. I'm watching that red in the background. So I'm either gonna use a lot of that red in the background, or I'm gonna try to make it so I can't see the red in the background. There we go. Here's a nice example of just some a pattern sort of, or a, a shot where I'm looking at this part in here. Got a little bit of rain, and actually rain is not too bad. It gives some, some water, can, it can be kind of cool. So because I have such a limited depth of field, I'm gonna I'd be careful where I put my focus point, but Right now, I'm still using autofocus. This this lens actually does a really good job, even close up. Really cool. So let's take a look. I might split the the frame right in two with these uh, with this water. I might get in close just on one of the colors. Just in that other color. I might try a different angle. So now I'm going to try low I'm really close to this blue and all I'm doing I'm just moving my camera back and forth and those little drops of water so that's sometimes again this is something where this where I say the world of macro is opened up to you opens up a whole new world of photography so what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to get the gold with the blue in the background just move just keep it in manual focus and i'm just going to move my camera closer and further away from so i'm simply just attracted to this just the texture of this little, this cloth that's on here. I just think it's really cool.
So I'm gonna see if I can just use manual focus and get in, see how close I can get. I'm just using my live view. And I'm doing a burst when I get there. I love those iridescent bodies. Let's see if I can get this one straight on. And also the angle that I'm able to get might be really cool. So again, manual focus here. And I'm just using the... I'm just moving the camera manually backwards and forwards. So I want to try different angles. And I'm, again, I'm just doing manual focus. I'm gonna try a little bit more aperture to get a little bit more in focus. More flowers, let's see how close we can get. I'm gonna go manual focus and I'm just gonna move in. And I'm just moving backwards and forwards just a bit and I might do a burst. And again, I got that thing in the background but it doesn't really matter because I'm so close. It's just all blown out. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no distractions in the background. It's the great thing about a macro. You don't always have to be really close, but you can, uh, you can if you want, and if you want to back up a bit for your composition, you can. So, so all I've got here is just this moss on a rock, but with a macro lens. If I'm giving maximum magnification, there is so much more. It's just this little mini world, which is just so cool. I just love it. I love the shallow depth of field. It's just really amazing. I've got some interesting patterns on this metal here. Um, now, I might try to have that blue in the background. I might see what I can do with that partially or fully in the background. So maybe as an out of focus blur in the background. So you do have to watch out for the background and your color. So there I don't have any of the blue and there I have the blue. So just some options. I might also shoot through here and see what that does. There we go. So you do have to be aware of your backgrounds, but generally it's just the colors. Rust can just be such a great, beautiful thing. Again, here I'm watching out from a background. I got a green background here versus, well, it's, it's quite green there too, but shoot this one here with a sort of a silverish background. And then I move up and then I shoot it with a sort of a greenish background. Take advantage of the rain that we've just had. And we've got all these drops on top of here. Just really, just love it. And with those lines on there, I don't necessarily need to get too close, but I am gonna try and uh, see how close I can get. So I love being at the level of these drops and I'm just using manual focus and I'm just moving my camera closer and further away so lots of fun so my reflection on the macro lens outside your front door challenge um, I love that when I see something it, it actually when I look through a lens and see it it's just even better the the details are there that I didn't see the shallow depth of field it really is a whole new world and sometimes some of the most mundane things can make the most beautiful images. So that's what I loved about just not going very far and capturing some images just outside my front door. Um, I was really lucky actually, I feel that I had some rain because some of the droplet shots were some of my favorites. And um, I actually have a number of different macro lenses so I might try using them in a future challenge. And overall, uh, I used aperture mode and I used a mixture of auto and manual focus, but manual focus was really great, just moving closer and further away from my subject 
Um, and so I really do recommend trying out a macro lens, whether that's borrowing it, maybe you're renting it or buying it, but um, I really do recommend trying it out. So give it a shot.